So if you're wondering why exactly my PC looks like a zombie at this point, well, it's because it pretty much is a zombie at this point. But anyway, let's talk about something that isn't a PC zombie. Don't think too much about that segue, I certainly didn't. And let's talk about the MSI Pro B650P instead. A budget B650 motherboard that can be all yours for just $220. Which puts it comfortably in between some of the more cheaper options such as the Gigabyte B650M AOS Elite and the ASUS Prime B650 Plus. While just being a few dollars short of some other great budget options such as the Gigabyte B650 not an Eros Elite. And what exactly do you get for those hard earned $220 of yours? While styling off CPU power, here you get 12 plus 2 plus 1 power phases, rated at a maximum of 75 amps. Which granted, it definitely loses out the B650 Eros Elite, but it's still good enough for most people, and at least a lot better than whatever the ASUS Prime had going on, seeing how that board only had 8 plus 1 plus 1 power phases. But interestingly enough, this board actually has two full 8 pins for CPU power, while the more expensive Aeros Elite only has an 8 pin and a 4 pin. So I guess those things kind of end up balancing each other out in a way. Anyway, then moving down to PC expansion, we have a, well, very odd situation to say the least. And actually, you have your primary 16x Gen 4 slot, and then below that, three additional physical 16x slots as well. MSI, I've only just let Gigabyte out of the oubliette for not having 1x slots in their motherboards. And now you're following in the footsteps? Because only absolute monsters will be putting so many full length hot 16x cards so close to each other. And we can all agree that a 1x card in a 1x slot looks much better, even if you can technically put them in a much wider 16x slot. And in the end, there was no space left for any more M.2 slots, seeing how you only have two. Which is a bit weird, seeing how a lot of other budget B650 boards have at least three. And while weird, I guess it kind of makes sense, seeing how in most B650 move boards, you can't even have more than two NVMe SSDs before you start running out of lanes. And you're gonna have to start rationing them, aka taking them away from your precious graphics card. But what really makes the situation a lot worse is the fact that none of these M.2 slots are rated at Gen 5 speeds. Something that is supposed to be a bare essential for B650 by AMD's own guidelines. Though something tells me that people who are going for the most budget B650 boards possible probably aren't that interested in future proofing the builds and getting super expensive Gen 5 drives anyway, so I guess it's not much of a problem, even if it is annoying. But hey, if you are running low on storage options, at least this motherboard has the full array of 6 SATA connectors, which is at least better than the 4 that Gigabyte bundle in even the most expensive offerings this generation. Finally, there's the real IO, which I'll describe as average, I guess, seeing how you have a whopping 7 USB Type A ports in total. Which granted, it isn't as much as on some Gigabyte models, but it's still a lot for most people. And what's extra cool is the fact that none of them are USB Gen 2. They're all USB Gen 3 or faster. Well, at least some sad people like me are gonna find that cool. But at the same time, two more USB Gen 2 ports definitely wouldn't go amiss here. You know, one for your mouse and one for your keyboard, with no USB Type-A in total. There's even a great spot for them right here, but oh wow. At least you also get a lightning fast 20 gig per second USB Type-C port. Something you really don't see at this kind of price point, so that's amazing to see. Apart from that, you also have 2.5 gig Ethernet, Wi-Fi 6E, both integrated DisplayPort and HDMI and a full array of audio options, making this an overall pretty great motherboard for the price, even if it is surrounded by some pretty tough competition. Granted, it does some things that may annoy some people, but if those things don't matter to you, then it's still a great buy, and for $220, where you can certainly spend our money in worse ways. But if you want to get this mobile board yourself, then make sure to use the Amazon links down in the video description below. And hey, while you're here, if you want to help support the work we do here, then make sure to check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way, while you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Oki B, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, Bardosh Velka, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lensby, and Jesse Herbman. Thank you guys so, so much, support truly goes a long way. Down here you're going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember, subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I'll make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.